Hello everybody, welcome to Wintery, Ontario and welcome to No Idle Talk. If you've uh, been a regular viewer here, welcome back and a big, huge, massive welcome if you're new here. And I think you should stick around because right now we're going to review a game that happened last night between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Minnesota Wild. I haven't done one of these for a while. It's taken me almost that long. Oh jeez. Gotta be careful here, eh? And why am I doing this one? Well, I'm doing this one because we're at the halfway point in the NHL season. This is treacherous. Can't do this. <laughs> so it's about time we try to kind of dissect and make sense of what's going on. And also, I actually had tickets for this game. My daughter bought me these tickets for a Christmas present. And we're all set to go and then two weeks ago they uh, cancelled the game on us because of the Covid restrictions. So I know they're back up to 50% capacity, there'll be 10,000 there. We won't be one of them. It's very disappointing, but uh, I guess this is going to be a poor substitute. I was going to take the camera along and do a little uh, vlog. Getting the train through, the subway, going to the game sharing some s stories with you but we can't do that and it can't be helped we're just gonna have to film a little review in my dining room which I did last night I told everybody to get out there's no dinner tonight I'm doing a video I'm gonna show you the highlights right now I was going to say that I was getting a bit fed up with Martina with her national anthem there. She's good, but just her all the time. So they had that little gospel choir there accompanying her. That was better. Nice job. And we're off Minnesota in white. That's their best jersey right there. Leafs in dark blue. That's also their best jersey. Bukestad. What a name. Come on, Leafs, get it out. It's been in their end. No, you know what? No negativity from me tonight. I'm not going to get on this team. These guys are good. They'll bounce back. Just a wee blip. It's okay, boys and girls and everybody else. Just calm down. All will be well. Come on, Willie. Just floating about there. Hand pass. An exciting play in hockey, the hand pass. One shot on net and they've been playing for five minutes. If I was there the other night, I'd want my money back. Ooh, oh, there's Babushkin there. There's the new guy. Good. There's not too many Leaf defensemen that do that. It's, it's kind of weird to see. It's going, look at that. There's a guy getting pummeled in front of the Leafs net. I wonder who it is. That counts as a shot, I guess. <laughs> Leafs under pressure here. I can already tell that uh, this is not going to be easy for the Leafs tonight. So the Leafs have lost, uh, as I said, the last five of the, the five of the last seven. They've been okay in some of those. It was one games that were absolutely terrible, but the Montreal game was just ghastly. Uh, this is not going to be one of those types of games, I don't think. I'm not saying they're going to lose, but these guys, this is a good test for them. These guys remind me of uh, like St. Louis. Maybe it's a good thing my tickets were cancelled. Come on, Tavares. Heaven must be missing an angel. That's not going to work, boys. Get the second power play unit you know, on. This is garbage. Get off the ice. No shots on the power play. <laughs> okay. What is going on here? Three two in shots. It's a. It's a <laughs> It's a low, no, is it low scoring? It's a low shot affair. I'd be gone for refreshments if I was there tonight, I'll tell you that much. Look out. Oh, nice save. <sighs> uh oh. Labushkin gets a penalty. Get used to that phrase. Yeah. He was holding me, he had my arm. <sighs> this is for the purists only. 
So there's only like 10 seconds left in this period. I think this is done. We can safely say nobody's going to score here. Uh, probably the worst period of hockey I have had the displeasure of watching all season. And if I was at that game, I'm sure my daughter by this time would have said, <laughs> not, can we go home? Do you want to go for some tea? And I would have said, yes. This looks like two teams that are playing uh, not to lose. In fact, Minnesota's probably been slightly better. 10,000 fans there tonight. Fall asleep. This reminds me of Tyne Castle on a Wednesday night against East Fife. That's how bad it is. People that have been at those games on a dreary, rainy night under the floodlights in Edinburgh watching a 0-0 tie against East Fife or Stenhouse Muir. Yeah, well, we used to play those teams. Not that long ago either. Second period. Oh, it's not getting better, folks. Shots now 7-6 for Toronto. Lord knows, I'd even, I think they're just doing that for sympathy. I don't even remember those shots. That's not even... I think they're just adding... The refs are trying to make it exciting because this is an absolute terrible game. <laughs> oh, do I want my money back if I was there the night? I think the puck is spent longer in the crowd than it has on the ice tonight. Well, I may have got a souvenir if I was there. These ads that they're coming up are actually getting quite interesting. Cryptocurrency. Is that one of the Minnesota players? 10,000 fans there tonight. Falling asleep. I don't know if they're particularly dangerous, but they're uh, in, they're sniffing about. Easily being the better team. This has been a good power play here. Nice save again, Mrazek. His helmet's off. His helmet's off! Labushkin actually uh, <laughs> tried to get into the rush there. And the, and the crowd went, Boosh! And they go, Soup! When Camel's in net. So that's the only thing we can do. Soup! Boosh! Nay songs. With nay songs. kind of night. Somebody day something. I would think this is going to be quite a short video tonight. Which is good news for you. And these two teams are just bumbling about the place. Jesus, there you go. Well, they deserve it. You know, <laughs> my internet was gone weird there. I didn't even see it. Maybe it knew something exciting was going to happen. Who scored it? What happened? Alright, maybe this will shake things up, eh? Okay, here we go. one nothing for the bad guys. Alright, Matthews, get it back. There you go, son! There you go. Sign a good player. Makes a wee bit of a misassignment. Gets it back. 30 seconds later. Here we go, we've got a better game now. 1-1. One, one. That shot. That shot. I don't know if it hit the guy's stick or not, but that keeper had no chance. Like he, he moved his glove like 10 minutes after the puck was in the net. 35 goals. Rock and roll, here we go. The crowd's woken up. The crowd's alive. You know what? I, yeah, the internet is crap. Pay Bell a bunch of money for no reason, and this is the service you get? Okay, okay, that's good, that's rubbish. East Fife on a Wednesday night. I'm starting to doubt my wisdom of even doing this tonight. Hang around, don't go anywhere. I promise you a thrilling end 
to this video. God, they nearly scored again. That's three shots they've had. Three shots on the penalty kill. Outrageous. I want my money back. There? Oh, come on. No. That's... I'll tell you something, the referees are no help in this either. Oh, God. McCabe will not be back. They described it as a non-COVID injury. What the hell does that mean? With four, just over four and a half minutes to go. Second period of a rather dreary affair, it has to be said. Put him on his ass when he's doing that. Don't let him do that. That's when you need babushkin out there. We're in the trenches the night, folks. Bear with me. It's going to get better, I promise. Caprice off over to cryptocurrency. Nylander doing the Highland fling in the middle of the ice there. That looked horrible. All right, here we go, boys. Let's do something here, please. For the love of life. Need another goal. Somebody needs another goal here to kind of shake this game up a bit. Meanwhile, here's Marner taking on five players. And fails. It's just you're down in the ditches, dirty, gritty, back alley hockey is what it is. Which has its place, but not when you're trying to make a video. Come on. Hellish game. <laughs> Hellish game. Nice steal by Matthews there. The go! Yes! All Matthews again! All Matthews! Super strong. Wow! Okay, when he wants to score, he's just going to score, I'll tell you. Yes, he just. Give me that. Give me that puck, you. You take it and give me it back. Second goal of the night. Look at that. Jeez. Oh, that's. That's the way to do it, huh? That is the way to do it. He's saying, nice pass, Matthew. Marner, I could have given you that pass. And I can't even skate. In fact, I can't even put skates on. Never mind anything else. They save with the keeper. Cams things down, but the Leafs are starting to sniff it. If you pardon the expression. Going to pull the goalie soon if they didn't get one. Tavares with the responsibility here. A win in the face-off, which he does. And the Leafs clear. Minute 30 to go. Set play coming up here. But the Leafs get a clear. That's going to be icing again. No, he wins it. Carefoot wins it. Nice stuff. Now we get back. <laughs> Minute six to go. In the Leaf end now. There's a chance here. Who's going to get there? In the corner. Where it's been all night, to be honest. This is going to get cleared again. And Marner's going to get it to Kerfoot and he's going to put it in the back of the net and that's it! Three one Leafs, 41 seconds to go. I will take it. I will take it. Great shift by Kerfoot there, killing the penalty. Amazing. Marner finds him, as always, right in the middle of the net. And there you go, that looks like it. We're going to get two points. Very close game. Could have went either way, to be honest with you. I think that Marazic was needed to be good. And he was. So there you go, folks. I have no control over the game, whether it's good or bad or indifferent. And this one was indifferent. Between bad and indifferent is what it was. It certainly was not a classic. I'll take the result. We really needed that because we were struggling a little bit. Need to hang in there at third place. 
Still got a chance to get second, we're no way we're going to finish first, but we need to make the playoffs, right? And we're going to, Minnesota's in a wee bit of trouble here, that's a very tough division, but I think, I hope they'll still make it. Pretty impressive performance from them. Mrazic for me stole the show, and obviously Matthews with those two goals was. When that guy wants to play, he will win the game for you. And I really hope that you can do that come playoff time. Hey, thanks for hanging in there. That was a bit of a slog fest, I must admit. I don't know if this is going to be one of the uh, most enthralling hockey games I've ever seen in my life, but it'll do for now. Good luck to everybody in the world tonight. I hope everybody is safe. Uh, it's a terrible state of affairs. I don't want to go down that path, but, you know, it's happening. should acknowledge that. Thanks for watching No Idle Talk tonight. I'm going to say good night for right now. Thank you again for hanging in with me. I'll see you all again the next time.